Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we slept in a bed in the base of operations of the main bad guys who want us gone, who could have done many unkind things to us while we slept. And in this episode, using that rest to our advantage with our Pokemon fully healed, we are going to start meddling in their affairs once more, because we cannot fight these guys again if we, uh, after we're done here. Obviously, we are going to fight them all. So, starting off here... Let's see what you got. You are a Lady Commander. T lady Grunted Team Aqua. Okay. So we'll do that. So I guess what we're playing here, I guess... You know YouTube's been getting a lot of updates lately? You know... That's something I actually wanted to talk about. Is it just me? Or are the related videos and search results just making no sense as of late? Like, in my own related videos, none of my own videos appear. It's, like, entirely other people. Not that I have a problem with that, mind you, though, but some of them are really weird. I think there was, like, one time I had, like, God, some video about, like, it was, like, some kind of, like, I've had, like, stuff like religious videos appear in, like, my related stuff, and I'm like, how does religion relate to Pokemon? Well, I guess if you're an Arceus, maybe, though, but anyway... <laughs> Some of them have been just really off the wall. Like, there was the other day I was searching for a song from Donkey Kong Country 2. The first result was one of Barack Obama's speeches, and the song I was looking for was the number two result. And it wasn't even like a featured video or like ad or anything like that. It was outright the first search result. I don't know, it just... The res search results have been making no sense as of late, and it's getting increasingly weirder. I mean, how do you get... Oh, crap. Um, how do you get... Oh, crap. How do you get... Barack Obama out of Kong College. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know how you get that though, but hey, whatever. But yeah, so here we are. We have a Zubat here. Unfortunately, I forgot that it had inner focus its ability, so my usual strategy of using Fake Out for some cheap additional damage did not work out, and I keep hurting myself. Could you stop doing that? And he gets a super effective. I'm just getting comboed here. Jeez. Okay, you can stop being confused. Okay, you can start attacking. That works too. Stop being attacking and start... Uh, start being attacking? What? Stop being confused and start attacking. Go kind of hand in hand. Okay, so Poochiana. Let's go to Moagami. Obviously, it's not raining inside of a building, so we can use this to our advantage and actually have Moagami go out there not at a disadvantage with its fire-type moves. Fighting date moves are still good, obviously, though, but hey. Double kick. Okay, I just needed a single kick, or low kick, or mega kick, or something like that. I kind of wish I had mega kick, to be honest, even though it's a normal type move, but hey. I don't. Let's go up here, and we have a double battle. Who do I want to use here? We'll use... Altair hasn't got any screen time in a little while. We'll use him. And sure, why not? We'll use Teddy. Let's use the egg, guys! Ah. The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon, too. That's a no-no. We're here to get it first. So we know what they're here for. There is a Pokemon that can do stuff related to the weather, and they are here to get a hold of it. Why they don't just... I like... <laughs> That's kind of cool looking. I like how they're, like, hitting their Pokeballs together. It's like, bro fist. Instead, it's like, bro balls. Bro balls. I don't even know. But yeah, just that looked kind of cool. It was like a Pokemon version of the Bro Fifth. It was like Bro Balls. So, let's, I guess, go for Poochiana. Not really much else that I can do here. Uh, Peck, why not? We'll use that on Zubat. And good. Teddy is awesome. And Altair got a little bit of experience with that, too. That's wonderful. Okay, so Carvana. Carvana, Carvana. So, I guess I'm, I've kind of been talking about stuff that, like, isn't really related to the game lately, though, and that's mainly just because, you know, it's starting to get kind of late in the game, and, you know, there really isn't much we haven't already seen, though. But I guess this double battle's going to be taking a little while, though, so you know what? I got something that I think is kind of is something that you guys will all agree on. Don't you guys just hate it when the news covers stuff on video games and they have no idea what they're talking about? It is so frustrating like it's like when general news just reports on video games there was this article I read the other day it had it was so stupid 
how little this guy knew about games. There was, it was this article, it was like 10 things the next generation of gaming needs, or something like that. It was something like that. And one of the things was they were saying, probably one of the more hilarious things was, uh, they were saying that Nintendo was confirmed that the Wii U was going to be more powerful than the PS3. That is true. The guy was saying that he hopes that more powerful than the PS3 means that it'll be capable of doing 4K resolutions. Okay. So many things wrong with that. Not only... Not only is that really stupid itself, though, because the video hardware for the Wii U has already been confirmed and it's a 1080p video card, but as if any affordable video card that could be packaged with a game system could do that. As if any TV in anybody's house could display that. As if 30 gigabyte discs, which it's already confirmed to have, could store game textures capable of being displayed in 4K resolution to its greatest potential. God, as if that kind of pixel density would even make a difference on the size of a home television. Like, it was so stupid, and he was like saying other things like that it's unacceptable how the 360 doesn't have a web browser, and it's just like... I'm sorry though, but console browsers are terrible. It's not like it's a really hindering feature, and how funny that I got 1080 Poke Dollars for doing that 1080p. But yeah, it's just, it was so funny, and it was just a prime example of when the news covers stuff on games and they have no idea what they're talking about. We're Team Aqua. We appear where everything rare is found. Yeah, yeah. But, but anyway, I guess now that I'm done with that little rant, uh, Carvana, Bullet Seed, hit three times, dead. Aqua Grunt, defeated. Give me money now. I'm not sending any to my mom. Level 31. Okay, great. And Water Sport. Water Sport sucks. Lowers the power of fire type moves. Why would I do that? You got me. I guess I have to take normal damage from fire, though, but still, it's just really a bad thing. Uh, what else do we got here? Eh, I'll stick with Teddy, why not? So, right here. <laughs> You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's first- Hey, I used this exact words last episode! You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. Hopefully she doesn't say that to the girl trainer. Well, actually, it's kind of creepy that she's saying that to either trainer, though, because she's an adult. Whoa! Shelly! Okay, I'll stop. Okay, Carvana. This isn't really what I'd consider much of a boss fight, but... Just in case you'd consider it one, this Carvana has the moves Screech, Focus Energy, Crunch, and Scary Face. If you're playing Ruby, as opposed to Sapphire or Emerald, you'd be fighting Team Magma here. In which case, you'd be starting off fighting a Nummel that has the moves Tackle, Ember, Magnitude, and Focus Energy, also level 28. So, nothing really there. And despite what version you're playing, the second Pokemon is always the same. It is a level 28. And Slash! Whoa! That is a good move. Uh, not as much power as Strength, but it has a high critical hit chance. Uh, do I want to learn that? More, uh, not more accuracy. It does have a high critical hit chance. Not really sure. I haven't used Feign Attack before, in all honesty. So do I want to... Nah, I think I'll stick with Strength. Luck-based moves generally just aren't my thing. Okay. So, second Pokemon is always a level 31... a uh, level 28 Mighty N, excuse me, with the moves Bite, Astonish, Swagger, and Odor Sleuth. Actually, uh, in Ruby, it's Bite, Odor Sleuth, Roar, and Swagger, though, but not much difference, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and do this, and let's take down Mighty N. If this goes down to one... Okay, good. Because I was about to say, Teddy has had a lot of victories in the past couple of videos that were just completely unchallenging. Never mind, Teddy was never really in any danger during any of that, so that pretty much does it. Ahaha, <laughs> you're disgustingly strong. What is it with you and disgusting? What are you, like, really kinky or something? Is it bad, bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about? Now there's you. What makes you sniffer, want to sniff around in our business anyway? We have a situation here. Team Magma Mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. Ha <laughs> ha, Team Magma, you just wait. And the music's all happy again. So we find out where we have to get going next. Might appear an odd way, thank you, but take this Pokemon. We get a cast form. This is a very strange Pokemon. It has different forms depending on the weather. When you get it, it is always holding the Mystic Water. So we want to take that item, obviously, and use it on one of our existing Pokemon, because that raises the power of Water-type moves. 
It's got the moves Powder Snow, Sunny Day, Rain Dance, and Hail when you get it. Uh, this Pokemon has a Fire Form for Sunny Day, a Water Form for Rain Dance, and an Ice Form for Hail. So, it changes depending on the weather. It's kind of a cool Pokemon, but its stats are abysmal. If you, uh, if you want a Pokemon that is really, really good at uh, using weather and whatnot, uh, this thing, I guess, can be alright. Just depends on what you personally like. I'm not going to be using it myself because I already have a normal type, and this thing is more often than not a normal type. And a lot of people like to make fun of it saying that it has testicles, or boobs, or something like that, though. But I am not one of those people that pokes fun at that. I think I'll give this two a cool tent because we have the grass item on Kappa, and we'll put the water item on a cool tent. Okay. Had a citrus berry, which, by the way, if you didn't know in those tournaments I did in the last episode, uh, you can use berries as many times as you want in those battles, though, so no worries there. And I think I'm actually going to heal up really quick, though, because I did not do so, and that would have been kind of dumb to keep going without healing. Alright, I healed up. I switched Altair to the front of my party. Just saying, you're going to want to have a flying type or a bug type out in front. Trust me, you'll see why. And I'm going to see if there's actually anything through this water here. And what do you know? There's an Ultra Ball hidden right here. Twice the catch rate of a regular Pokeball, so pretty good hidden item there. And down here all the way at the bottom, there is a Leaf Stone. So if you have a Pokemon evolving with a Leaf Stone, like Nuzleaf, that works well for you. Unfortunately for me, it is not a Water Stone, so I'm not going to be able to evolve Kappa quite yet. So that pretty much does it for that. So we're going to head up here, and look at this. She got off her bike just for me. Emil, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready for the Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! We have a surprise rival battle here. All right, so... May, when you just thought you saw the last of her, her and her weird hair and her crazy bandana, that's green for whatever reason, she's here to mess things up. She's gonna start off with a Lombre with the moves Absorb, Nature Power, Fake Out, and Fury Swipe. She'll have this if you chose Torchic or Trico. If you chose Mudkip, instead she will have a, her Slugma with Ember, Rock Throw, Harden, and Amnesia. Don't know why there's the sudden change, but hey, that's how it goes. She started out with Slugma last time, but not going to this time, apparently. We're just going to keep using Peck on this. I think Altera can get the job done, because I'm going to hope that this thing does not have any ice attacks like mine does. And it doesn't quite look like it does. Okay. And it keeps using Swift, meaning that I can't hope for a miss or any kind of not guaranteed damage. But hey, at least I can just keep pecking away at it. And if you heal... Your arrival battle. Okay, good. She's a rival battle. She is not supposed to heal because apparently she is very poor because of how much we keep defeating her. Because in this game, you do lose half of your money, unlike in Fire Red Leaf Green, where you just lose a small chunk. Now she's going to move on to her Slugma. The same move set as the others. Uh, if you start it out with Trico, though, her second Pokemon is going to be a Pelipper with the move Supersonic Mist Protect and Wing Attack, which is honestly probably the most devastating of the second Pokemon she can have. If you chose Mudkip, she oddly has a Wingle instead of a Pelipper with Supersonic Mist Water Gun and Wing Attack. But yeah, not really much else there. We're going to use our Mystic Water, backed by Rain, backed by same type attack bonus, Sir. Yeah. This thing is doing a crap load of damage. So super effective, same type attack bonus, Raining with Mystic Water. Now for her last Pokemon, Marsh Stomp, with the moves, Mud Shot, Foresight, Mud Sport and Takedown. Oddly, no water type moves, so it's not going to get advantage from this rain. It does have an advantage over uh, Cool Tent, unfortunately. If she, you chose Mudkip, she'll instead have a Grow Vial with Leaf Blade, Screech Pursuit, and Fury Cutter. If you chose Trico, she'll have Combustion with Sand Attack, Peck, Bulk Up, and Double Kick. Mine's better. And that's really about it. She's pretty much done here. There's really nothing she can do. That is a really easy rival battle. If I recall the first time I played this game, I actually lost this. Acha! Emil, you're strong. I was worried you might be struggling with your training. Looks like you're the one struggling with your training, but I have absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. We get HMO2 Fly. Very, very good that we have that. We can now go to any town we've already visited, plus it's actually a decent move. But we need to have the next gym badge to be able to use this outside of Bethel. So she recommends we go to Little Root Town. Maybe we'll do that later. But for the time being, check it out. Wow, <laughs> way to go, Emil. I just passed my trainer riding a bike. 
You beat the trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked upset and had a face all red from anger. Soon we're running you off, and you're after to force your gym next. I expect you to do well at this gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. Uh, it feels good to know that I made her face red. Hi, Emil. This is Ethan. I tried battling with the trainer, but I lost. It was really disappointing. Oh, we'll see you again. Oh, well, at least he wasn't, like, calling to brag about his Pokemon like most people do, and I ran into a wild Pokemon because I'm out of repels. And we're still running into Zigzag Goons. Is that really necessary? Yeah. Go on something awful, you Zigzag Goon. Okay. So now that we've done that, now that we're doing that, sound like a redneck. <laughs> Let me go ahead and use HMO2 here. And I'm going to use that on Altair, because Fly is a much better move than Peck, even though it takes two turns to use. I don't really think we're in too much danger there. 70 power compared to 35, clearly the better move, so we'll go ahead and teach that. And our move sets are really coming together. Not bad. And we have learned Fly. But I think now that we have taken care of this, we are going to end this video off here. We are almost to Fortree City. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. But since we got two boss fights out of the way, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be heading off to Fortree City and checking it out. See you guys then.